as we have done for the first name, let's do the same thing for the rest of the fields. I'm just dragging the type into as we have done earlier and trying to indicate the last name this time. I'm just renaming every display name and I'm trying to enter the values into it. Once that is done, I'm dragging the another thing. This time it's date of birth. Date, month, year. So that's it's done. Then another type into. Then this time it's designation. See, I'm not explaining you everything because that we have done it in the last lecture. Mobile number. Again, a random number. I'm saving it. I've just clicked Control S to save it. Now, if I just look at this particular thing, we have had all the text fields filled. But what about this gender? Gender here is a radio button. If I just jump into it, I can't take type into. I have to use check activity. So it will come comes under control. If I just hover my mouse over here, selects or clears radio buttons and check boxes. I have to click it and drag it. Indicate on screen this time and if I click on mail, let me show you the selector of it. In its selector it has mail and the rest everything is similar to the previous activities. Okay, So I'm just clicking on it and saving it and then the next step is to check this particular acceptance privacy policies. So I'm again selecting check and indicating it on the screen. Then I have to submit. So for that I have to use click activity and I'm using it indicate on screen submit. So our flow is done. I'm renaming it. Fine. So if I just run it, let's see what happens. So it is trying to enter the data that we have given. If I just go back, okay. It has generated this particular web page has generated email ID and official mail ID and here we can see it's double over here this is because we haven't cleared the data which is available from the previous page for that I have to go to this and here I have to give true similarly to every activity we have to give true. Okay, I have done it for the two activities. You can do the same for every activity and it should work fine for you. So we are done with this, but still we have to display employee ID and official mail ID on the message box, which we haven't done yet. Let's do that.